So, what kind of firearm can everybody shoot? We want a 357 Magnum like uh, Rick carried around in uh, Walking Dead. Well, I could certainly shoot that, but uh, my wife would have a hard time, my daughters would have a hard time, and my grandkids would definitely not be able to do it. So what, what else could we use that everybody could shoot? Well, we could use a 22. Just so happens, I have a nice 22 here. This is a Taurus TX-22, and I know for a fact I can shoot it, my kids can shoot it, my wife can shoot it, and my nine-year-old granddaughters can shoot it. And it shoots a bullet that's big enough that if you hit somebody in the head, it's likely to do damage and stop them. So maybe here's a good option, okay? What else do we know? Well, we know that if the zombies uh, get uh, crazy enough or for some reason if we run out of 22 we can't scavenge 22 which by the way is uh, probably the most plentiful ammo that's out there and it's very lightweight and you can carry tons and tons of it uh, as opposed to heavier rounds like um, 308, 30-06, 762, even 556. Yes. So we don't need to overkill it by shooting them with a 30-06. So it's both, uh, the 22 fills the bill for both necessary and sufficient and will do the job and everybody can shoot it. Now what if we run into bigger predators, predators that 22 may not work against? Well we have an option for that as well. The option for bigger predators like, uh, like humans, non-zombies that might be trying to hurt us, attack us, steal our stuff animals uh, that get after us. A nice shotgun would probably do the trick. And this one is a Maverick 88, 20 gauge. It is a youth size, which means it's a reduced, reduced size stock. So uh, my daughter shot this, so I know that she's a very petite. So I know she can shoot it, my wife can shoot it, and I can shoot it. Uh, it's 20 gauge and 20 gauge will stop most things. You could shoot 20 gauge birdshot or you could pull out buckshot or a slug. All right. Now if you also needed to hunt uh, to survive, you could easily hunt with this 20 gauge. It's much lighter weight uh, and it's easier to shoot than a 12 gauge. So I think if you're going to go survive the zombie apocalypse, the 22 will work good for zombies, and this uh, Maverick 88 5 shot uh, 20 gauge would probably work just fine for other predators. There is just so happens to be a horde of zombies that are right down range there, and we're going to give this a test. Okay, so let's let's sling the shotgun and. Uh, you really want to have a sling on your shotgun so that you can do this, so that you can sling it up and carry it around and get it out of your way, so that we can go to our sidearm, which we happen to have right here. So first thing is, we're going to see how the 22 works against the zombies, and uh, if that works, then we'll uh, we'll give the the 20 gauge a try, see if that's effective as well. Okay, we're slung up. Here they come, horde of zombies. We pull out our 22. We rack in around. We see what. Okay. Well, let's go down and see what we did to the zombies. We did manage to stop. Okay. Did we stop these zombies? Yes, we did. Two good shots there. Two good shots there. Down here, we got him in the neck. This guy might not have been totally dead because you got to hit him in the brain, remember? And that's not the brain. This guy right through the nose, that's probably went right into his brain. And this guy right into his brain. And this guy right through his mouth. So it probably took out the bottom of his brain. So we'll mark those. We'll give that another try. 
All right, zombies coming, zombie horde. Now, oh, before I say that, this has got a 16 round magazine, which does make it nice in the zombie apocalypse because you got 22 caliber, but a 16 round mag. And I don't believe there's any other 22 pistols out there with more than 10 rounds in the magazine. So this Taurus makes it kind of nice. It's sort of a zombie apocalypse special. So here we go, again. And that's empty. Drop that mag, go for it a reload. All right, safety on, let's go down and check those. So you do, you do, you do need to learn how to use your gun, but the nice thing about this one is, anybody can shoot it, anybody. I've got a video up of my nine-year-old granddaughter shooting this and doing just fine. So let's go take a look at those. Oh yeah, multiple hits. There's one right there. That guy's done. That guy's done. Oh, one down here in the neck. Right in the face. This guy's done. Oh, this guy's done right there. Oh, shut his ear off. But this one probably got him. And this guy, wipe the eyeball. And the one right there. That guy's, that guy's done. So those zombies, they're probably done for. Okay, so we think we pretty much took care of those zombies. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. And uh, because this Taurus TX-22 shoots so fast, and it's so easy to shoot, <coughs> it's got so many rounds in it, no recoil, you can be very accurate and uh, you can shoot fast and from what I see on the TV you know if uh, monster movies and uh, TV shows and uh, whatever else is uh, a guide to the zombie apocalypse then it seems like zombies come in hordes so the faster you can shoot the better uh, the more rounds you got and the faster you can shoot and hit them in the head the better you are so this is the gun all right, now let's see what, uh, if we got bigger, we got bigger problems. We got uh, human, human predators who want to steal our food or do other bad things to us uh, in the zombie apocalypse. We're gonna go to the next level and see how that takes care that takes care of bad guys so I think this will uh, give you a pretty good idea of uh, what this will do uh, it, whether it's a zombie apocalypse or a human apocalypse but I really like this little 20 gauge Maverick it's got a 22 inch barrel um, it's got the little uh, side on the front it's got a mid side as well uh, brass bead and then it's got that white one out on the front it'll take five rounds at a time again it's cut off short uh, so it's a youth size model but it's 22 inch barrel so it's still easy to wield around so let's see what this does to them oops take the safety off safety's up front here here we go. Well, we got one more to spare. I loaded one in the chamber and then I put five in the in the uh, magazine. So we got one more. It looks like we pretty much took care of those guys, but just to make sure, let's give the guy in the middle one more. All right. Hey, look at the smoke coming out of there. <laughs> a little smoke. It's kind of rainy and cold today. So you got a little smoke coming out of there. But uh, So let's go down and take a look, see how they fared.
Well, you know, uh, these are supposed to be zombies, or they could have been uh, real life uh, zombies or real life uh, problems. But uh, take a look at what it does. You can see, <coughs> you can see many, <coughs> many, many holes all in there. And this is just bird shot. This is where the wad went through. And most of the shot probably went through right here. Um, biggest part of the shot column and then it spread out. Uh, but you know, that's gonna do a job on uh, either zombies or real life predators. Uh, so and let's take a look at the other ones. Same thing here. Same thing here, pretty much all blown out. Look at this, all blown out. This one got two shots. <coughs> two shots on the, <coughs> on this one I had, I loaded five uh, in the magazine. I'll hold five and one and I loaded it already in the chamber. So I had six, I took two on this one. And it just completely blew this whole front out. Completely blew it out. This one, same way, wad went through here, blew it apart. <coughs> this one, interesting, the whole shot column must have pretty much gone right through this one big hole right here. So I think what this tells us is, <coughs> um, oh. I think what this tells us is that uh, the 20 gauge, between the 20 gauge, uh, and the 22 zombies are no problem and anything bigger than a zombie a real life predator for example is also going to be no problem at uh, personal defense distance you're not going to shoot them from 200 yards of course but from personal defense distance uh, you hit these guys from personal defense distance and they're they're toast so personal defense distance is what we're talking here uh, 10 yards or so, um, you're going to do a you're going to do a job on them. So there you go.